if you don't want the bell to shock you, you might want to turn the volume down just a little bit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Psychic Goddess Erica, continuing on with my Learn the Tarot series. And I am going to be covering today the magician card one in the major arcana check out my wampum earrings all right guys so as i explained already in um the fool which was the first part of the series the fool is card zero out of 78 the magician is one of 78 tarot cards as i've already explained i'm giving the meanings more so in an intuitive way in the way that i read it intuitively if you are more so curious about learning the actual literal symbolism in a lot of this, um, those breakdowns are in the resources already mentioned in the first video I did, card zero, the full. So <clears throat> all that being said, I'm going to be talking about the magician in more of a symbol, um, in more of an intuitive sense in the way that I read. So if zero is the full and the tarot is the fool's journey, the fool representing us <laughs> in this in this case the magician is card one so the number one is kind of the energy of the fool or us now stepping into the realization that we create our world that we create our reality that in in terms of like the spiritual sense that the world around us you could say is a projection of our subconscious mind our thoughts our emotions etc but it's also letting you and reminding you know that we are the magicians in our own world we are the magicians in our own life because we create it so the power is in our hands the number one represents the energy of the first step so if zero is the energy from the fool of if zero is the energy of coming through a portal and being a womb and, and symbolically something being born, it, number one is like, okay, we're just now learning who we are or we are stepping more into the power of who we are. We are taking a first step in a new direction. It's a new beginning. So the magician gives the energy of needing self-awareness. The magician to me represents self-awareness in many ways. The magician represents that all of the tools that we need to make something happen for ourselves or to change something or to create something or to manifest something already exist within us and around us. So all that being said, <clears throat> sorry, my nose is really itching now. <laughs> um, all that being said, to me, this is a this the magician is we hold the wand in our own hands, the wand to create our own magic, to um, wipe away, not fully wipe away the past literally, but wipe it away in terms of like um, letting go what needs to be released or um, releasing things, releasing energy that we no longer need to carry forward. Um, it also represents the energy of manifesting a new start. Okay, what do I want? boom this is what i'm creating and also it's letting you know that all of the tools that you need uh tangibly physically mentally and emotionally already exist are you already have it you just have to maybe you need to do a little bit more research to access the knowledge of using it but you already have that power you already have that magic so we have the swords here swords represent the element of air they represent knowledge, they represent communication. The cups represent the element of water, they represent emotions, and also psychic ability. Well, all of it represents psychic ability to me, but different ways of accessing it. So like you could say the sword is like clear cognizance, which is clear knowing. You could say the um, cups are um, clear uh, sentience, which is clear feeling, but it could also be clairvoyance, clear seeing or maybe all of them are clair clairvoyance in certain ways. The pentacles represents the element of earth. It represents the tangible. It could also represent the physical health of things or the physical world or um, <clears throat> money, career stuff, things like that. And in this case, the magician is holding the wand and the wands represent the element of fire. They represent um, the element of action, passion, 
creativity, all of those things. So the magician is already holding the passion, the power, the creativity, which is you. Also, again, a lot of yellow in this. So a lot of yellow, I like to look at the colors and things like that. I like to look at what they're wearing. Um, a lot of yellow, solar plexus chakra energy, taking action. The energy of taking action, of needing to tap into your confidence, and need to tap into your gut feelings to move forward in terms of what is best for you. There's flowers down here. I know it's hidden because of the, the, the text here. But to me, flowers, they also represent things that don't bloom overnight. So yes, you are the magician, you are manifesting it. Some things will happen quickly, some things won't. Some things take time to grow and bloom and become beautiful. And so that's, that, that is also how I see this. Like, it, it takes the effort, it takes the self-work, it takes the self-awareness to manifest fully, to eventually see your manifestations grow and bloom. But just like a flower doesn't grow overnight, you can plant the seed, keep nourishing it, keep tending to it, eventually it may bloom and blossom and grow. The infinity symbol. So all things that basically things are limitless. Like there's a need to kind of take on the energy of like nothing's beyond your reach. That there's there's limitless potential in how you can manifest and achieve something. It may not always go in the in the exact direction or it happen in the exact way you thought you wanted, because sometimes spirit, source, the universe, creator, sometimes <laughs> creator, the universe does have to intervene a little bit to help steer you in the direction that's actually a better path than what you thought you wanted. But at the same time, know that don't limit yourself. So to me, the infinite symbol here is like, you know what? There's there's infinite ways that this can that this can play about. You just have to understand and believe that the power is yours. So if again, if the fool and, and the number zero is about a brand new beginning, um, you know, moving in a new direction, trusting in the journey um, for all the positive sides of things and um, like a brand new start. The magician is that next step of kind of revisiting, okay, I'm here, but what do I want for myself next? What do I need to do to achieve something next? What do I want to manifest? What do I want to create? That kind of an energy. And knowing that the power is yours, the power of creating what you desire, the power of creating the world. The world is at your feet, as they would say, is the energy of the magician. Now, in a more negative sense, and again, like I explained in the first part with the fool, the meanings of the cards, there's never ever one meaning for a card. And if you're reading with your natural psychic abilities, like with I with what I do and intuitively, then the meaning is always gonna change depending upon the energy of the other cards around it, depending upon the download you're getting psychically, depending upon what the question was, if there was a question, things like that. So the, the meaning and how the magician is necessary or needed or coming into play in the reading is going to depend upon the other cards around it and surrounding it. <clears throat> now, if you are into reversals, like I did explain in the other video of the full, um, some people will see reversals as the exact opposite of the upright meaning, but the reason I don't really go with that is because there's never one meaning of an upright card. So how I see the reversal of the magician a lot of the time, if I choose to read reversals, because sometimes I don't, because there's so many ways all the other cards tell a story, so you don't necessarily have to focus too much on it being reversed, in my opinion. But how I often see, <laughs> if you guys can see how I'm standing right now, oddly, let me see if I can show you. For some reason, this is how I'm standing. This is like just super comfortable to me right now. Anyway, that was way off topic and I think my camera's a little crooked now, I apologize. But anyway, uh, so I don't always see reversals that way, but I do see this as more of like, it could be more of a blockage. So maybe there's a blockage in you seeing your power, maybe there's a, there's a blockage in you seeing the tools that are already accessible to you. Maybe there's a blockage in you um, believing that you have the opportunity to change things, something of that nature. Again, the, the cards around it and what the question was and what you're feeling are, are going to contribute to that as well. In a more of a negative sense, some of the negative um, energy of the magician, and again, that depends on what else is in the reading and what you're feeling. 
some of the negative sides of a magician could be somebody who's who who they maybe know their power and is working in a manipulative way for some for some this can represent the energy of someone who's trying to create an illusion or to um manipulate or trick someone if the energy of the reading is feeling more negative for some reason or if the cards around it are more negative then it could be that as well and again it's gonna depend on things so um i think that's all i have for you guys for right now comment below if you have any um comment below if you have any special connections to the magician or anything that you want to share about how you view or have seen the meetings to play out over time if you choose to you could always tip by buying me a coffee the information is down below in the description for me being your teacher in all of this i appreciate that um and again remember to subscribe like this video comment and share and i will see you guys in the next video which will be the high priestess